Welcome back to the arena. Oh. I'm Nova Terror and joined once again by Fear Vina, bringing you this match oh, between Galactic that? Space Hobos and oh. Slow Children at Play. Intergalactic Space Hobos I'm bringing of Kronos, a comp with though. a Chronos at but the top of the Navy there's, Armageddon, there's, who's ready to do some sucking, Proteus, Augur, Ashmoon, what do you think from Slow? There's lasers. That's a weird they comp for brought... Hobos. It's not really well, a pseudo dad because they have two black it's dudes. Got a lot of ECM, it's like though. a control dad. Huh. It's like a controlling stepfather. This one is so interesting. This one. So People interesting. Are saying right off the bat, I do not believe we've seen a Chronos thus far yeah. in the Alliance. Yeah, I mean the curse will be able to nude out. Proteus like, also you know, interesting choice. Easy. I know we were talking about that a little bit yesterday as we saw it took a couple bans at uh, at one point or another. I don't know what she's yeah, planning on doing with the Blackbirds. ECM though. Blackbird setup. These are I mean, armor Blackbirds. Uh, maybe they going they after the setup currently. Uh, yeah, that's going to be really interesting here as the countdown does get underway. Well, and we know how powerful the multi slow children is. at play. Intergalactic space hobos have relatively Ooh. close range ships with the Armageddon Navy this and Kronos, uh, having brought pulses and blasters. But uh, I'm on the edge of my seat already. So I want to see how this match plays out. Kind decent curious. projection, and uh, Kronos has that range. They called our comp the controlling stepdaddy, so, by the way. Uh, those blasters <laughs> yeah, can be is. pretty I mean, look at all the deal potential with. control uh, on top have. of the fact that the Kronos is just a curse and the Blackbirds alone. Kind of the, it's just know, a lot of control. Lot of, uh, the arena damage, once though. every 60 seconds or so. Right, they're apply and they're that applying out. They jam the Navy get in. They jam the Mollus. We see some damage going into this Mauler of Billy Bob off the start of the match. As it looks like slow children of play have decided to kite away. I just away, noticed the Proteus. Black space that, hobos whoa. are coming in. They're kiting yeah, away from. Yeah, slow can't really risk getting this battleship core of intergalactic space hobos on top of them. The they need to keep jammed. away for the time being. It took I'm really the wondering if both of the, these uh, teams, with the bands at least, go in the directions they have been. They if they're both the trying to sort of meta game against that Damping Octodad. The Chronos, and threat they jammed the Proteus. The Proteus. They jammed the Augur. The Mauler's going to die. ECM dad. Interesting. But yeah, for the time being, yeah, we're, we're watching we're, these black We're not moving all that much. Good chunk of we're the actually team from forcing space them to come to us. That's uh, interesting. It's going to be a while before space hobos are able to put oh, any down to the slow children in play side. The Curse Mauler is doing an excellent so job. Take out their they're just keeping everything, you know, damped out, tracking disrupted, jammed. It's crazy the amount of electronic warfare that's going on to the team of space hobos. Yeah, you can see Did they not have nukes on that curse? Do we not have enough damage? The curse on the Kronos and the Navy The Kronos is getting close, though. Well, it looks Their like that is curse is just target significantly. Uh, disrupting. They have an Asha move for long range webs or to try to get on top of the slow children at play side, but uh, they're just plinking Which, at honestly, uh, small against this stuff comp, at the moment from Intergalactic Space Hope. Really got some damage on this Magus uh, amp up your Dice tracking Ropo disrupt. at the time being. No, there's nukes. But there's nukes. at the same time, well, landing onto the thing is, we got low so this is going to be a brawl. Trying to keep that Kronos at bay for the time being with the hyena. This is going to be a slower <laughs> turning this into play. very this much a sort of kite that they have to continuously do. And we they just ran into the classic kite scenario where they pulled back enough, but then they had to start making a turn. The Astarte of Augustus and Blackbird of Recheck a little bit Look. slower than the rest of the team to make that turn. Uh, and I'm wondering here if the Space Hobos, Armageddon Navy specifically, and potentially Proteus are going to be able to catch one of them Salta. for it. Uh, we, yeah, exactly. we're still seeing not too much like damage just coming on from the Slow Children at Play team. Uh, but their damage is also slowing down. They weren't able to kill that Magus despite shooting him for a good while there or trying to. They're trying to apply some damage into the Mauler, Punisher, and the rest of the low end, but um, everything is nicely topped up by this Augur. Yeah, we see this turn is a little bit dicey. The Astarte of Kira actually kind of burning a bit back in towards the rest of the intergalactic space hobo squad while staying out ahead is it jammed or is it disrupt uh, keep that oh, they're, they're going to kill the punisher Finally, damage going on this dying. blackbird as well as on the well, on right side our stuff. Oh, no. finally going down blackbirds. into structure and falling for first blood oh, no. slow children at play oh, no. taking it about three minutes into the match and they've got some more armor fit oh, black armor now black oh my god wait what yeah, it's black armor now web to tackle right check exactly i mean so, armor is what you get to do with the ecm that i was mentioning before is the first thing i mean i guess yeah actually all the ecms team. take up um, all the uh high they slot, did mid kill the they're trying to spread some damage around the rest of the low end of space hobos for the time being all my scorpions uh, and whatnot just trying to tax fit, so. sort of the attention span of this augur <laughs> oh, more than anything oh, else to catch something in the nick of time it looks like the 
the Ashimu of Amon Bay Ashimu is going to be the main there target the there. He's dropping really low into armor. They really want that Blackbird dead. Is also taking a few shots at least, so I'm wondering <laughs> yeah, if... Uh, they they if have the both Amber armor and out. shield not, reps not on the this, Blackbird. Uh, That's hilarious. Die. Yeah, I mean, this Ashimu is pretty low right now. Rechecking the Blackbird actually staying alive. If we get the, if we kill the Ashi, if we trade it with the Blackbird, that's actually and the Blackbird pretty good on well points. Just curse, uh, taking I'd, I'd the damage rather keep off up the Blackbird of him quite significantly, but, yeah, even with the, the Tech Ashimu. 1 Lodgy Frigates of the Inquisitors. <laughs> How's the Ashi uh, not going down? has been fairly consistently alive, probably got all their reps not getting nuked drop. nearly as fast as you'd expect yeah. for a comp that is Kronos and a Navy Armageddon. Uh, um, meanwhile, some dip pot shots are being put into the Inquisitor of Loki. But as we mentioned, that uh, when Aline gets there, jammed, our team the Blackbird's is on that Blackbird going to be able to stabilize a bit longer. Oh, but shit. The uh, that Blackbird's and probably going down. down. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, so Space Hobos do take their first victim in that Blackbird, and it's been an excellent job from this right Augur of Alt F4 so far. He has kept the Ashimu up successfully. It looks like Slow are now trying to put their damage into the Mauler of Billy Bulb. Um, How is that if the auger is able, auger to, able trans to, to transition those reps in time over to him, he might stay drones? alive here. But he's, uh, he's I'm not pretty well locked down at the given moment. Uh, massive uh, clouds of drones on top what of him. What if the as Proteus well. is repping? Yeah, surrounded by drones, coming so. out towards that mauler as well. Very tanky Tech 1 cruiser, as we like to We're mention. Uh, very popular for that reason. It's very tanky and can do DPS where you can fit it. Uh, full newt as a tackle and screen boat. We just need to focus on one person and kill. Hard points on and just keep really doing it. Does have guns on it, so not a full newt mauler, which makes. I mean, me that's not a, a bad thing because most of their comp is but, all brawl. Uh, for the time being, the match is kind of stabilized either but way. It doesn't uh, no one's seem... really tackled from either team, but slow children at play. They're behind. Yeah, we have to stay away. We're right very now. kidey, right? And we can't get in close to that crowd. Pretty quickly, exactly. Or they're going to be running away, out of time. We need to the auger now. Alt F4 to... taking a lot of damage. We need points. I can't watch. Yeah, this one. It's still just crazy how many electronic warfare effects are still going on despite having lost that one blackbird. Um, it is going to be a lot harder for the one remaining Blackbird to land critical jams as they're not going to be able to really check in with one another, see what they've missed their jams on, see what they've hit. Um, but Slow still doing an excellent job of playing keep away, at least. They have a few different ships now between Augur, Ashimu, Magus, and Mauler all into mid-armor, so they're really taxing both the ability of the Augur not only to stay alive and untackled, but also just to keep reps up. Every so often, if jams do land on him, that's a, absolutely an opportunity for Slow to try to take down all of these other targets. On somebody real hard. Yeah, and, and that's the importance of the Blackbird, right? You don't have uh, any damps on your team, no Legisas, <laughs> yeah, no Celestis, no Mollus, no Carries, right? And just so, uh, don't if have this is going to be like a 17-6 fight. But at the same time, we're seeing this Proteus of Conkle start to burn in uh, quite handily towards this Astarte, and damage is now switching on Ooh. to him as he's gotten pretty Ooh, close. Proteus now starting to burn back Proteus towards is the have rest a lot of his of tank, team. Uh, but the DPS just are smart bombs they allowed? need to kill somebody. Slow children at play. They, they are, killed one ship three minutes so, into yeah. the match. They lost the Blackbird. So if they could get they need to kill all these guys that close the together, you could just fly in and go bum, 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 The Muller won't call it in order to make this to uh, match go in their favor. Keep, keep I've only got three minutes left uh, now. 11. Yeah, Slow Children now trying to put a lot of damage back to into this Proteus, who was of sort of charging right? towards them. He's we had have to pull back currently. into sort of the central yeah, area of his team to, now in order to stay alive to, there. Um, Slow Children doing an excellent um, job kiting yeah, around, but as points. you mentioned, they need to find another kill in the next three minutes, or two minutes, 30 seconds at this point. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult as well because I believe that Space Hobos have sort of recognized their win condition. Their Kronos is turning around. Everything's just sort of trying to ball up from here. Yeah, but you know what's balling up right now? Slow Children at play on the MJD. We'll see if they decide to make an MJD Ooh. play for this, maybe get into better optimal ranges. Uh, but it is always a little bit dicey, especially with these teams that are new to the tournament. Mm. We see them starting to burn in off the MJD right now. I don't yep. know if the MJD effects are spooling. They're activated. Uh, we'll They're see. activated. They've activated They're the MJD, MJD beacon, so we'll try to get in. in. We see the Inquisitor come in alongside the rest of them. They're a little bit disparate. And this start of Kira is right in the middle of intergalactic space hobos. That was a bad <laughs> MJD. Oh my gosh, what a play. Now they've got to get their DPS trades in. Now the curse is the primary Ribon Kiri no, <clears throat> from slow children at play going down Auger, pretty low. He's hit. been neutered out, but he still hasn't been tackled. Uh, no guys, tackle has landed just from intergalactic kill. space hobos onto slow. And they're come on, trying get the to get down this Augur. Now Alt F4. 
the auger, knock out the ramps. Get the auger, get the auger, get the auger. Come on, 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 <laughs> yeah, they can't let this curse die. They can't let this Astarte I think just they they the they they the the now, they just they the As the Astarte now, Augustus Napalm grapples and then just jumped into the curse gets back and then just jumped into the day seems to be the primary. They kept slow children at play. 53 seconds remain in the match. Slow children at play currently have the lead, but this Astarte of Augustus, if it goes down, they will lose this match. They don't have a whole lot of time left. All reps on Augustus. All reps on Augustus. Again, using that curse, using this Blackbird, oh, they've got Augustus. damage onto the Zash Moon now. I'm on day low uh, structure keep now. Uh, up, keep the reps up. Keep the reps up. down. Okay. Okay. So even if no. Okay. We still can't lose the Astarte. We lose it. Yeah. Yeah. That's 37. To die in order for space hobos to win. Come on. We just need the Astarte to stay alive. 40 seconds. That's easy. Oh my God. This is a crazy play. I think they might just pull it out. Tank everything, Augustus. I believe. Tank everything. Play. Those distances yes. didn't Holy look particularly shit. great. Mags down. Oh, 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 and end up winning the match. With that, we're going to go to a quick break and then return with the desk. So you won't want to miss that. We'll be right back after this. We win. We're in the Alliance oh, tournament. Shit. <laughs> we did it. Holy crap. That was a look at look at, look at Twitch chat. Holy crap! Everyone's commenting about how amazing that match was. <laughs> Holy shit! Intergalactic space hobos uh, looked like they were gonna make Twitch uh, cry uh, with uh, some big channel points swinging, but slow children at play took the MGD gambit with two minutes remaining, uh, went right into the den of death, uh, killed an auger, and just uh, crew look. Made it looked so cool, so calm, so controlled. Uh, amazing stuff. Yeah, I mean, we were talking in the last match how uh, disruptive the newts can be, uh, as well as tracking disruptors in general, uh, the, as, as the match goes uh, to time. Uh, Susby Yoten, we saw that crazy MJD play where slow children at play knew that they needed some points and they needed them quick. Uh, they you know, use the MJD beacon, jumped right into intergalactic space hobos. And people were like, ah, Kronos, this is your moment to shine. And then what happened? Well, I'll tell you what, Swift. I'm going to tell you what. It oh, takes some real stones to make a play like that. It would have been Hell so yeah! easy, <laughs> so easy to sit back and look for an easy target. But I'll tell you what, those 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 folks from Slow, they they got some cojones, you know. What I mean? Yeah, they got a bit of cojones. Like, that's a that's a pro gamer move. Was it perfect? Fuck yeah, it was not. pro gamer <laughs> it was move. Not perfect, but it was it was exciting. It gets the people going. Now for the Kronos, I uh, yeah, I don't know. I, we we were talking in the middle of that match. I don't know where any of the damage was. They didn't shoot anything. Uh, well, he was being tracking disrupted. That probably did not help. Certainly. But man alive, like you gotta, you gotta know when you when you, when you see those micro jumps start lighting up, you gotta know it is game time. And when in the moment, one of those two teams came to play, and it was the Slow Children. They came with the moves. I loved it. I was shook by it personally. I had the vapors. I can confirm he actually did have the vapors. Uh, Sisby Yoten uh, took out a little fan. Give himself a little one of these. Uh, had uh, the Turbo Feeder Glory Alliance logo on the fan. I uh, don't know if that's actually legal, but uh, so it be. Uh, but yeah, you were mentioned like, uh, you know, as that match, as they made the MJD into the back line of Intergalactic Space Hobos, it looked like Space Hobos caught everything that they wanted. They caught the curse, but the curse looks like they just threw all the newts over to whatever was stacking Lingit. Uh, everyone spread their TDs correctly, landed the jams, uh, got some lucky jams off, and it was just able to coast out of range. They and as not... it coasted out, it just... Yeah, they weren't able to hold anything down at all. Even the Astarte at the very end, they needed to get. The Astarte that they needed to get and were putting damage into was able to coast out. Yeah, the, the newts... Oh, 
feels like it hurts. Uh, we've all been there, nuded out, aura screaming, capacitors empty in your ear, uh, cap charges, uh, looking for stuff in cans and wrecks. Uh, oh, yeah. But, but man, uh, slow children play. Uh, what a great match uh, between those two teams. Let the battle begin. We are the slow children at play.